Hello friends, it's Ms. Stevenson again with another art activity for you this week. This week we have a very special holiday coming up that many of you are celebrating and it is called Diwali. And um, a common art form that we see at Diwali time for those of you that do not celebrate this holiday is called Rangoli. And Rangoli is a beautiful art form where people make very, very colorful patterns. And uh, I thought I could show you how to make one today. So this is a Rigoli pattern that I drew. I kept the pattern very, very simple so that it would be easy for uh, little fingers to sprinkle some colored rice. When we're working with young children, we don't want to do anything too complicated because it's more challenging for them and we want them to feel as successful as possible. Okay, so I have done this Rangoli pattern here and I'm going to fill it in using colored rice. Now when I fill it in, I'm going to have to take the pattern off of the board here and lay it flat. Otherwise, of course, the rice is just going to fall everywhere. So I put it up here to show you what the drawing is going to look like. And uh, I drew it in pencil first, and then when I knew that I liked it and I didn't have any changes to make to it, then I traced it over with a black marker so that you could see it for the camera. But when you're doing it at home, you don't really need to trace it over with the black marker. You just really need the pencil lines at home. Okay, so to color the rice, some of you may have colored rice last week with Mrs. Rigo in her video. We're going to color rice again. I have a little bit of rice in a Ziploc bag here, and I have four different colors of food coloring. I've already done some of it just for the sake of time so that you don't have to watch me color all of it, but it's all done the same way. So these are the colors that I already had in my house. I didn't really want to go shopping, so I'm using what I have. And this is the green. You only need a few drops. My green is spilling all over me. So you only need a few drops. It is best to do just a couple of drops to begin. And then if you need more, you can add more. But if you do too much all at once, then the rice is going to get very, very wet and it won't work very well on the pattern. You'll have to let it dry for a little bit before you can use it. It's super important, my friends, that the Ziploc bag is closed before you shake it up or else you're going to have rice flying everywhere and it really won't be fun to clean it up. So make sure the bag is closed. If you're having trouble closing it yourself, get a grown up to help you, okay? So now we shake the rice up. You probably cannot tell on the camera, but it needs more color. So I'll do a few more drops, just a few at a time. I don't want to do too much. I would rather add it as I need it. So I'm closing the Ziploc bag again. And now I'm shaking it all around. It's a really good idea to do this activity somewhere that is easy to clean. You don't want to do this activity in your living room, my friends. You want to do it somewhere that's easy to clean because food coloring will stain. If you spill it, it will stain. So we want easily cleaned surfaces to do this project on. Now the rice is getting to be a color that I like it. I don't, you probably can't tell, but it's a lovely lime green color. So I'm going to open the bag and really carefully pour it into the bowl. Now, I've already got the rest of my rice cup colored, but what you could do is put the next bit of white rice in the bag. Choose your next color of food coloring. Zip your bag up and shake. You really only need, because we're only using a little bit of food coloring, the bag doesn't really get dirty. You can just keep using the same bag over and over again if, if you want to. Now, friends, it's super important 
that the lid goes back on the food coloring when you are done. Don't leave the lids off. Put the lid on as you're finished with each one of them so that you don't risk spilling it somewhere. All right. So now I'm going to take the rangoli down and we will work on putting the rice on the page. Now, I know that most of the time rangoli art, I believe, is not permanent. Usually it's put done on the floor or on the ground. And when you are finished with it, it's taken away. Uh, you can do that. You don't need glue for this activity. You can do it that way and clean it up when you're done with it. Um, you can take a photo of it if you really like the way it looks and you want to remember it forever. You can take a picture of it with a camera or you can use glue so that it stays on the paper so that you can keep it. So I'm going to show you how to do it with some glue. In order for the rice to stick, it needs to be white glue. Glue stick will not make rice stick to the paper. All right, so I'm going to flip my camera so that you can see what I'm doing here. And I have this glue. Some of you might have seen it last time. It comes out really fast, so I have to be super, super careful. There we are. And I want the center of my rangoli to be blue, I think. And I can push it down a little bit with my fingers. It's OK if you don't fill in all the spots exactly. It's going to look just beautiful. Now. I want to do the petals in the front. There are petals in the back too, but I want to do these ones first. I want them to be all the same color, so I'm going to do them all at the same time. Filling in my glue. And the glue will spread. You don't need to get every single little last space. It will spread when the race falls on it. Be very careful that you don't squeeze too much because white glue can make a big mess in a, in a hurry if you're not careful. Now for these petals, I want to use red. This type of activity is so, so great for our friend's little fingers. They're using, when they use their fingers to do little work like this, it's great for fine motor skills and building muscles in hands. And Rangoli art, like I said before, for those of you that are not familiar with it, it's very beautiful and very, very colorful. Lots of vibrant colors are used. So if you want to use more than four colors, if you have more than four colors of food coloring at home and you want to do more than that, that would be quite appropriate because usually lots of different vibrant colors are used. for this part. 
Don't worry if you go outside the lines a little bit. Normally, Rangoli art is made with colored sand, I believe, and colored rice. But colored sand is often used. try my best to fill in these spaces around the edges. We'll see how that goes. If you want to use something to spread the glue around, if you're not happy with how it's coming out and you need to spread it with something, you can use a popsicle stick or your finger if you don't mind the mess or a Q-tip. Even a toothpick would probably work if that's what you have. If you have larger paper at home, it might be a good idea to use larger paper working this small is a little bit tricky and it will probably be tricky for our kindergarten friends, but I'm sure that they will figure out how to do it. If you use bigger paper, it's a little bit simpler because you can make the design bigger. I could not use larger paper because then I wouldn't have been able to show you on my camera. There we go. And I'm going to fill in the circle around the outside, thinking about what color I want to use. I'm not sure. I just know it won't be green because then it will not stand out against what is already there. I will use blue. Now, doing the outside edge, if I get some off the design, I'm not going to worry about it too much because once the glue dries, I can pick the paper up and shake it off into the garbage can. There we go. So I'm not going to worry about that little bit too much. Anything that's not sticking to the glue, we can shake off into the garbage can when the glue is dry. Glue probably will not be dry until tomorrow. So I'm just going to let it stay flat. 
And I'm noticing in my bowls of colored rice, I have a lot of colored rice left over so I can save it to use for another picture another day or you can make another rangoli if you liked doing this kind of art and you'd like to make some more. Just don't forget to take a picture of what you've created and send it to your educators on Brightspace. We hope you have a really, really great time with this activity, my friends. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. Don't leave a mess for someone else and make sure that you have the lids on the food coloring and the glue before you walk away. Have fun, friends.